I'm Jado Fadajismi, I'm a painter and we're at my studio in South London. My sister will be helping us film today and taking us around. Say hello, Shadow. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Nico. Hi. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm going to be sharing with you five objects that are really important to me. I describe my studio as setting the stage for painting. I think every object in the space can enter the work in some way, whether that's through colour or texture or pattern. My works are reflections of myself and the objects that I surround myself with. Clothing is really important to me because that's another way of building an image. I build them on myself by wearing them, but I also keep them around the studio. This dress I'm wearing is one of my favourite dresses to the point I actually have another one right behind me. <laughs> I own three of these dresses, I rotate them and that's how I will generally paint. It would be me obsessing over one thing and I think obsessing over one thing allows you to experience it really truly. Oh, these heart sunglasses. Love them. It also becomes something that enters the work as I come in every day. I see myself as the canvas just like I see my works as my canvas, and I see my works as my life, and I am my life too. They really are one and the same for me. Yeah. Oh, let's take this off. <laughs> So another one of my favourite things are soundtracks. I've listened to soundtracks since I was a kid. I just remember listening to them as a teenager obsessively in my room, alone. I just believe every moment should be dramatic. And for me, soundtracks are quite dramatic. They take you on a journey of a story and an emo emotive one at that. And so when I'm listening to soundtracks, I get carried away. I get lost in my feelings. I get lost in my thoughts. and. I embrace the intensity of them and they almost create this intensity of colour, they create this intensity of movement in my paintings. As I'm painting I see my writings as a flow of thought and a reaction within painting. So I would stop and I'll throw the brush down and I have to capture that thought and I'll put it down on a piece of paper and I'll stick it onto the wall. They basically act as notes for my paintings. Uh, let's have a look through here. Oh yeah, the whole studio is a diary of myself. I didn't always write and I didn't think I could write until I went to the Royal College of Art and I had a tutor tell me that it's not that you can't write, um, it's just that you don't necessarily have the confidence to because you believe there's a way to write. And I think that's really important to share. It's only because he sent me home and said, look, just write whatever is on your mind and we can talk about it and go from there that I started writing and feeling more comfortable. Oh gosh, she's falling apart. <laughs> very fragile. Yeah, very, very fragile. But very sweet. I've had Teddy for 27 years. I'm 27 years old myself. Yeah, Teddy has always been something that has provided comfort and the painting behind me called When Teddy Left was actually a painting where I was really questioning what it means to really lose something. And I remember whilst I was painting it, I was just imagining what if I lost Teddy, which is one of my greatest fears actually. What if I lose something that's so special to me? And I guess that's why maybe Naturally Black came into it. I remember at the time I was like, oh, black, I feel very dark and deep. I was crying when I was painting this actually. I'm trying to turn it into a joke, but I was, I was really upset. Um, and it's really exciting actually when you finish a work and you look back and you're just like, wow, where did that come from? I don't know why colour is the most emotional for me. I think it's because I had a moment very recently where I understood that the easiest way to talk about myself and my life is through colour. Colour fills my life and colour fills my space. 
When you take from many sources, when you take from objects, when you take from soundtracks, when I take from Teddy, when I take from clothing, I'm always wondering how they resemble colour to me. And when they become one on the surface, they become environments for me. They reflect myself and they become spaces for me to exist.